What's up, here, family? It's your girl Kiana, and I'm back on your screen once again. Yeah, I'm back on your screen once again, y'all, with another vlog. All right, you guys. So um, today is Saturday, June tenth. June tenth. Today is June tenth. It's a Saturday. Let me get some light up in here. Let me get some light. There she go. Hey. So um, I just got back. Y'all, look at my son's hair. He looks like old boy from the movie with the pacifiers in his hair. Don't be a I gotta do it, y'all, because I'm getting curly free foams, not the nasty, I mean, not them uh, free foams like where they be nappy. I'm getting the curly ones. Don't be a menace. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And Central. he's going outside to play like to that. To South Central while drinking your juice in the, in the hood. hood. So, yeah, yeah, I'm hungry as ever, so I'm making me some breakfast. I asked, babe. I don't know how, y'all. Yeah. I'm not a, a chef at the moment. He don't know how to do nothing but make a bullet. But what's up, friends, family? It's your boy, Dre. Y'all already know. So, y'all, I'm going to talk to y'all about my first trimester and give y'all the inside scoop and let y'all know how that you know went how because... Right no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put it down. Put it down. Talk to y'all about my first trimester. Let y'all know how that had went because I am now in my second trimester currently. And yeah, y'all. I still don't know how far along I am in my pregnancy. I don't know exactly how many weeks I am or none of that. Y'all, my first doctor's appointment is coming up on Wednesday, the 14th of June. So yeah, I'm going to find out everything in that appointment. I'm probably going to find out everything here the heartbeat um boy girl single twin triplet all of it i'm gonna figure it out on wednesday because i'm pretty far okay i like to go when i'm about 16 17 weeks somewhere up in there because the appointments it just be like i just be impatient okay so yeah yeah i'm gonna tell y'all about it in a little bit I'm going to give y'all a belly bump. I'm going to show y'all how y'all can see it a little bit. Not too much. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit. Let me get something in my belly. Then I'm going to be back because it is 5.30 p.m. on a dot. And I have not ate nothing at all. I just woke up at 1. Cleaned up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> threw my wig on. Ran to the store. Now I'm at home cooking some. Um, I'm going to update y'all in just a second. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I finished eating. Your girl was hungry, so I had to eat, y'all. So, um, first trimester pregnancy update, y'all. Um, this, by far, is the most trying pregnancy I've ever experienced. Um, my son, Leandre, was easy. Liana, easy. This one has been very trying, very different. So... Um, as soon as, it's like as soon as I found out that I was pregnant, that's when everything just started hitting me like, pow, 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 like back to back, y'all, back to back. First, I was having the hot spells, like I was extremely hot, couldn't breathe, I was out of breath, I'm still out of breath to this very moment, and I think I'm gonna be like that until I had a baby, but, um, immediately out of breath, um, hot get out the shower hot not taking a shower just sitting down hot so i had the ac on in the house in the apartment whatever blasting because i was just so hot um uh, i have not experienced any food cravings no cravings at all y'all and that's so disappointing because i wanted to experience some cravings this time around because the first and second time i didn't experience no you know pregnancy cravings so i'm like okay the third time a charm not experiencing any pregnancy cravings whatsoever um i have the most nastiest taste in my mouth it's like a metallic -y like taste and it's just uh food is not pleasing to me at all i just know i'll be hungry and i have to eat so i'll eat and as soon as i finish eating i need to eat a orange 
or choose some sugar-free gum, which Orbit is my best friend, y'all. I get them three packs at a time. And then I'll just chew the gum to get that taste out of my mouth to have just a, a regular taste. I'm extremely gassy, as in burping. I burp all day, non-stop. Like, I cannot stop burping. The burping is just, uh, um, no energy whatsoever to do anything whatsoever. Like, none. I am lazy, y'all. Lazy. And that's not me, because I like to get up, move around, grab the camera, I'm be vlogging. I'm doing stuff with the kids. I'm taking the kids somewhere, just cooking, having fun, doing this, doing that. I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm no energy. I'm sleepy. Um, I'm not affectionate. I don't want nobody to touch me. I don't want no hugs. I don't want no kisses. Y'all, this is just so weird and so awkward. And I feel so bad because my husband and my kids, they just be wanting to love on me. And it, I just be like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Stop. Stop. And I just feel so bad. So I just really cannot wait until uh, the pregnancy is over and done with. And I deliver a safe, healthy baby. And not have to be like this no more y'all because it's just crazy but um the main thing to me is the food y'all the food is not pleasing to me at all and i just be so hungry and i want to eat and enjoy my food and just be like oh that was so good and it was so satisfying but it's like ugh, i had to eat but it was so nasty and yeah so i'll chew gum to get the taste out of my mouth or i have to eat an orange so gum and oranges is a must have in this house for the time being y'all and i'm trying to think of what else oh sciatica i am suffering from that tremendously bad like i didn't suffer from that with liana until about eight months pregnant and i'm already experiencing that in my very first m second trimester y'all i'm in my second trimester already y'all but i'm telling y'all about my first trimester but i'm I've, i'm experiencing it like i lay in the bed and i get up or i'm sitting on the couch and i get up and once i start walking it's like my whole leg just shut down and i cannot move it and then i have to like limp or whatever it's so painful sometimes it's just like what is going on like this is the most trying pregnancy of experience by far so um due time it will all be over um i'm trying to think i really wanted to experience pregnancy cravings y'all though because i wanted to drive my husband crazy i wanted to wake him up in the wee hours of the middle of the night make him go get something that i wanted and stuff like that i just wanted to experience that but um excuse me sorry you guys um i'm not experiencing that but i don't really know what else to explain in this uh first trimester it just has me down y'all like no energy i don't want to do anything if i get any energy it comes about 10 11 o'clock at night when everybody is just like laying down chilling and my husband has to get ready to go to work and so he's shutting it down and then that's when my energy comes and i want to be annoying to him but um i'm trying to think um really not much I can tell y'all because I don't know I go to the doctors on Wednesday which is upcoming so really really soon so hopefully I have more information to like share with y'all in the future but as of right now that's just pretty much it y'all I found out I was a pregnant uh basically March 17th is when I found out I was pregnant but March 16th the night before I had made me like some wine and I had put some um do say in it and immediately because I was about to clean my house and immediately as I started drinking it I felt really weird like I was just gonna throw it right then and there I'm like hmm that's different because I already don't drink I'm not a big drinker like that drink drinking is just like a turn up to me but I was like hmm, let me just have a little drinky drink and 
was I immediately felt like I was gonna throw up and I was like yeah no that's different so I put the drink down and I went and laid in the bed across the bed on my husband and I was just like I feel nauseous I feel like I'm about to be sick like I'm gonna just throw up and I just took like two sips of a drink and um he woke up he got ready for work and everything he went to work so then I woke up and I was like something ain't right like something is not right so I went to the bathroom I took a pregnancy test and baby your girl was pregnant this pregnancy was planned um every single pregnancy that me and my husband has had has been planned um I just wanted to have another baby I don't know what I was thinking though because like my baby is gonna be uh basically when my baby is about to go to kindergarten my son is going to the 11th grade and my daughter will be going to the seventh grade what was i thinking i should have did this years prior but i wanted to do a years prior but my husband was not on the same boat as me y'all he was not on he was like no 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 i don't know what made him want to do it years late three years after i've been begging him so i mean it's all god's plan it worked out it is what it is you know what i'm saying it's, it's it's gonna work out it's gonna work out so yeah it's gonna work out it's gonna work out it's all for the greater good so um i really do wish i did this a little bit earlier but god's timing god's plan so you know you can't interfere with none of that um i do want twins y'all real bad i want twins the only reason i want twins is because giving birth to just one and having that kid grow up alone when one the other two are just experiencing life and older and they ain't gonna be wanting to be bothered with no little kid trying to play and entertain nobody so hopefully it's twins so then they can entertain each other they can grow up together they can go to school together and things of that nature so i'm hoping for twins a boy and a girl because I already got a boy and a girl, so then it can be equal. But whatever God's plan is, it is what it is. I'm all for whatever. So I'm just happy and I'm excited and I cannot wait until I meet this unborn child of ours. So, um, what's another thing? I, y'all, my lips. OMG, y'all, my lips be so really babe i'm i'm vlogging be quiet another thing i can tell y'all is my lips y'all they just be so dry and cracked and just oh uh, i have to constantly get a warm towel scrub my lips put some lip scrub on them and keep them just like smooth selling because look at them right now they it's just crazy so that is and i just be feeling so down and so ugly that that's what gives me the idea maybe i'm having a girl because she's trying to suck every look up out of me to have for herself because yeah i just be feeling yeah that's my husband with this squeaky door but uh yeah y'all so that's another uh first trimester second trimester situation that i got going on because it's still occurring um babe could you think of anything else i've been struggling with through this uh pregnancy uh because i don't know i said everything i said um i'll be hungry but the food is not pleasing or satisfying to me it leaves a nasty taste in my mouth. Um, oranges, gums, the sciatica with my leg. Um, I off, in the very, very, very beginning when I first found out, I was super hot. Remember that? Mm -hmm. um, I still be out of breath, no energy. So yeah, y'all basically touched up on everything, y'all. So I don't really know what else to update y'all on. So, I'm going to just go ahead and show y'all these belly pictures because I don't know what else to tell y'all. So, here they go. Check me out.
So yeah, y'all, that was my baby bump. Um, like I said, I don't know exactly how far I am in this pregnancy. I'm feeling like I'm around 16 weeks or so as of right now. Excuse me. So we shall see exactly and I can give y'all the exact, or you know. So yeah, y'all, as of right now, I don't know exactly how far I am in my pregnancy. I'm probably about 16 weeks pregnant or whatnot, but I'll have more information for y'all real soon. But yeah. Billy is Billy is getting big already so I hope you guys enjoy this first trimester talk y'all this is something new to me I ain't never did nothing like this but <sighs> y'all well, I don't know who told me to be grown and be out here doing what I was doing to get these babies at this age and this time I think it's you know the older you get it's just more trying that's just what I'm trying to assume because, you know, we ain't young and flexible and moving around and doing things that we used to be doing. So, it's all for the greater good though, y'all. So, thank you guys for coming along on this journey with us and sticking around. And, yeah, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.